In this video, I want to show you how you can use the HTML viewer to extend your visuals and animation using HTML. I'm going to show you how you can use this to format your text and keep formatting options like bold, italic, underlines. And I'm also going to show you how you can extend and create new animations within your Power BI reports using simply your HTML codes. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Ferdan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and is the underlying script that structures what you see in a web page. So it defines things like where in the page the text should be, what images to show, or what color schemes to use. It uses tags where you wrap the content with a start and an end tag to give it some sort of property. So an example, maybe you want to wrap a text with the bold tag, which will bold the text inside it. We won't go through the basics of HTML in this video, but the point of it is that uh, HTML gives you a bit more control over how your data is shown on a page, which unfortunately Power BI doesn't support natively. Let me show you how this all works with an example. So this is the Power BI file that we will use today. There's, there's actually nothing in this file. Um, and what I have here is a set of data, which is very simple, in this Excel file, which we will bring into Power BI. You'll see on the first column here, I have one cell. And in this cell, we have a few elements here. We have coffee, milk, and tea, but they have some of uh, some formatting options uh, applied to them. So you have the coffee as bold, you have milk underlined, and then you have tea as italicized. If you want to import this cell into Power BI, uh, you can certainly do that. But once it's in Power BI, it will lose the formatting in the process. And that's because Power BI doesn't natively support HTML, as I said. So uh, I have also a column here with the HTML tags, which I will import as well, but uh, I will show you what that does uh, in a second. So for now, we're gonna close this file. We're gonna say, get data from an Excel workbook, get it from a HTML, and then we'll take it from sheet one. So we will just, We'll hit transform and I'm just going to promote the first row as headers like this, change them as texts and then we'll just hit close and load. Now what it's done, so if we now bring in the normal column right here, put it, yeah, we can just put it in a card or you'll see that even if you no matter what visual you use here, it doesn't include the formatting options that you've added for each of these lines. So coffee isn't bolded, milk isn't underlined, and team isn't italicized. And maybe you have a requirement to keep those formatting options and show it in Power BI. So HTML viewer is actually a custom visual that interprets HTML code, which means that it interpret uh, the formatting that you put in HTML and translate it into a Power BI page. So let's start by importing this visual. So we'll go to get more visuals right here. You need to make sure you're signed in to, the, to your Power BI account. And from here, we'll look for HTML. We'll pick the first one right here. We'll say add like this which will add this visual HTML into our uh, report here, which now we can use. Now, before we use it, I want to show you, and that's the reason why I added this HTML cell is because I want to show you. So you'll see, first of all, if we just put it in a normal visual, you will see that it includes the tags, but actually it doesn't do anything else beyond just adding the tags before and after the text. However, if we now put this into a HTML viewer visual, 
there we go. So you can see here we have coffee, milk, and tea, and it follows the tags that we wrapped our text around. So we have coffee as bolded, you have milk underlined and T italicized. So this is the most basic way of using HTML in Power BI. Now, let me show you how you can take your HTML content to the next level. This website, W3Schools, is what I used in the past to learn HTML and other programming languages. And it's a great place to learn because it shows you how it works and it even allows you to write and run scripts which will help you understand how the HTML scripts work. What's even better about this website is that it gives you different examples of things that you can do with the HTML. So an example that we have here is how you can create a flip card using HTML. So you'll see that here we have a flip card. So what that means is if you hover over with your um, mouse, with your cursor, it will flip and it will reveal some information about this person. Let's say we want to have this type of animation in our Power BI report. So what we'll do, first of all, um, is we'll click and go try it yourself. We have the majority of the code that we'll need here. We'll just need to copy it. So copy. Then we'll go back to our Power BI report here. I'm gonna create a new measure and we'll stick this HTML script into this. So we'll type and name this one flip card. There we go. So Power BI doesn't like this double quotes. Um, so to escape this, we'll just double up the double quotes on any instances within this code. So we'll just add an extra one next to one of them. So there we go. So now that we've doubled up um, those quotation marks, now we can put the measure into the HTML viewer and you will see that, there we go. So it sort of works. Let me just make some space for it. Delete. And I'll delete this one too. So you'll see that it sort of works. If we hover over this avatar, you will see that it flips. The card will flip and it will show some information about the person. However, what you'll notice is that the image is broken here. The picture is broken because normally the image that the HTML script refers to is stored in the same directory as a web page. So if we look at the HTML script here, it will say that the image is called img underscore avatar png, which in the Power BI context doesn't quite exist. Um, but that's pretty simple to fix. So we're gonna go through it in a second. So this is a PNG image that I found in the web. So we'll try to use this and replace the PNG in the Power BI report to use this image instead of the broken one. So what we'll do is we'll copy the URL of this image. We'll go back to the Power BI report. So what we'll do is we'll replace the image source reference here to reference the new PNG that we have just added. So I believe we can simply just paste it here. We hit enter. Let's have a look if that works. There we go. So it does work. So we have the new image that we wanted to have and the flip even works. The last thing that I want to show you is how you can modify the HTML viewer and use it to display your own data. So at the moment right now, the image that we have here and even the text that is written on the card is defined by yourself because we have it written in the HTML code. We just need to find it. And we've written this manually in here. So you see that the image source is um, looking up this specific image. We have John Doe as the name, architect and engineer as the title, and then we have the description here. Now, maybe you want this to change based on who is selected in the report, and we want to tie it to the uh, dynamic element within Power BI. Here in my sheet two, I have added a few information that we might want to use. So we have uh, a few more people that we can uh, potentially uh, use. We have uh, different 
employees, their titles, separate description, and even the URL of what we want to show in the flip card. So what we want to do is if we have one person selected, we want to show their details on the flip card and we want to change that within Power BI. So what we'll do is we'll import this data into the report and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm gonna close this. Good. Go to get data from Excel. It's actually on the HTML sheet as well. It's on sheet two. So I'll go transform data. I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Just add first rows, headers, change everything to text. Hit close and apply. Right, and then from here, um, we'll just simply make a change in this current measure that we have created. So where we have the image source, for example, let's delete that and we'll change this to reference the new column or the new table that we've just added. So I'm gonna add a double quotes here, but instead of making it two, I'm just gonna add an at here that creates a concatenation. And then from here, we're gonna say uh, max uh, URL sheet two. So what it does, it will get, essentially if you have max, you will get what is currently selected if there is something selected. Um, and that will change what the URL, um, the flip card should be using or what image it should be using based on your selection. Uh, so let's, actually I'm, I wanna show you how that looks like before we move on. So you will see we have a lady's face there at the moment. If we have and add a filter here, just gonna put this next to this card. If I select Anna Smith, nothing happens. If I select James, it changes. John also changes and Marie also changes. Now that's only changing the image at the moment. So let's finish this demo by changing also the text within the HTML viewer. So we'll go back to our measure and we'll change everything here. So John Doe, instead of that, we can add name. There we go. So now that should work. So you'll see that Marie gives us uh, Marie's details, John Smith, James, and Anna. Perfect. So as you can see, that was pretty simple to implement and is one of the simplest examples of what you can do with HTML. And obviously there's tons more that you can do, especially if you know HTML already. However, if you're not familiar with HTML, a good place to start would be W3 schools because this is where I got started from. And you also have other things that you can use in their lists. So it's useful if you want to learn HTML. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to use the HTML viewer custom visual to extend the formatting capabilities in your Power BI reports, but also use custom animations that you normally wouldn't have access to. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.